A clear example of the threat posed by cyber crooks. New at 6, our Kate Kagarin discovered it doesn't take much for hackers to get into even the smartest of homes. The next time we go to war in some far off place, with just a click, the fight could come home. And I bring down the electrical grid in America. Could I bring down planes? I think everything is moving online today. The house temperature. Our thermostats, our refrigerators, everything is connected. An expanding number of services, objects, and appliances are connected to the internet. That makes them ripe for hacking. Oh, no, 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 no. Just ask 60 Minutes Leslie Stahl when a hacker took over her car. Not only that. It's a whole lot cheaper to get cyber weapons than to build plutonium enrichment plants. Synac, a security firm in Redwood City, tested 16 smart home products from cameras to thermostats. It took only 20 minutes to break into all but one. It turns out the security cameras were the least secure. There really hasn't been a good way for us to assess the integrity of these devices and make sure that they truly are secure and not opening up holes in our networks and our homes. To increase cybersecurity, the U.S. government wants to sync up with Silicon Valley and share online information. At the cybersecurity conference at Stanford, President Obama spelled it out. Just as we're all connected like never before, we have to work together like never before. But for some, it's a proposal gone haywire. This isn't a problem that's going to be solved by the Department of Homeland Security or the FBI snooping around in our traffic. It's going to be solved by better computer security, fixing or getting rid of old crummy software, installing new open source protections. Peter Eckersley is with the Electronic Frontier Foundation. He says today's action endangers privacy and doesn't make us any safer. Kate Kogiran, KPIX5. As for the smart home devices, the researchers found the industry as a whole needs some basic standards to prevent hacks.